Hi, I'm Joe, and today we're going to cover Kruskal's algorithm for solving minimum spanning trees. Kruskal's algorithm finds the minimum spanning tree of a weighted graph. A minimum spanning tree is a subset of all the edges in the graph that reaches every vertex in the graph, has a minimum total weight, and has no cycles. And there could be more than one minimum spanning tree solution for a given graph. Kruskal's does this by relaxing all the edges one at a time, starting with the cheapest edge first. Now let's take this simple graph with four vertices and five edges. You can take a simple look at it and see that with three edges you can connect all the vertices. Now this red path that we chose might not be the cheapest path. You can look at it and see that three is a cheaper edge to use than eight. And you could still cover all the vertices without using edge eight. Kruskal's, however, is going to find the cheapest way to reach all the vertices and for far more complex graphs than this one. So we're going to start by sorting all the edges. And to do that, we'll add them to a min heap or a min priority queue. Now we get a list, a sorted list of all the edges. And then we're going to relax the edges one by one. And by relax, I mean we're going to uh, use the edge or not use the edge. We decide if we can use the edge to connect additional vertices to our graph. So the first edge is edge 3, which connects C to D. We definitely are going to use that because we haven't discovered vertices C and D yet. Our second edge, 4, connects B to D. That adds B to our minimum spanning tree. So now we have C, D, and B connected. And third, we connect A using the cheapest edge, which is 5. And with that, we've finished the minimum spanning tree for this graph. We've connected all four vertices in the cheapest possible way. So we aren't going to use edges 6 and 8 at all. So that is our minimum spanning tree. Now let's take a look at a more complex graph. We're going to start the same way. We're going to add all the edges, edge weights, to um, our min priority queue, and we're going to sort them by increasing edge weight. We're going to look at the first edge, which is AF, at a cost of 1. So we're going to connect edges A and F into our minimum spanning tree. Second is edge uh, 2, edge weight 2, with vertices C and F. So we're going to connect C to the tree. Now third is EH. It does not connect existing vertices that we've already mapped. It connects two new vertices. So we still want that. However, I'm going to color those blue for now so that we can see that that's a separate tree. Next, uh, edge is BC, which uh, has an edge weight of 4. So that connects B to our minimum spanning tree. Now we can see at this point that we're not going to need edges AB and BF, which are, are weights 8 and 6. So we can delete those from our min heap or min priority queue because we know that we won't need them. We've already connected vertices A, B, C, and F, and these edges don't go to any new vertices. Next, we're going to connect edge A, E at a weight of 5. Now, this connects the subtree E, H to our main tree. So now we have a single minimum spanning tree, and the only vertex we're still missing is vertex G. Now, as we connect E, H, to the main minimum spanning tree, we can see that we're not going to need edges AH and FH. So we can actually delete those from our min heap. That only leaves two edges left, 7 and 9. So next we're going to take edge 7, which connects C to G, and then we're done. Now we've added all vertices to the minimum spanning tree, and we know that we don't need edge 9 FG. So that's what our minimum spanning tree looks like, the finished minimum spanning tree. So you can see there are five edges that we didn't use. Now Kruskal's is known as a greedy algorithm, which means that every time it is faced with a choice, every time it has to make a decision, it chooses the cheapest option. 
It was developed by Joseph Kruskal in 1956. And it runs in a big O of E log E. I'm Joe James. Thank you for watching.